My people, my people, zeh. Tonton Tideo, zeh. Ara Dubo, zeh. <laughs> well, my name is K to the I to the N to the G, the king himself, your one and only host. Uh, and I'm welcoming you back to G Dynamic TV. I had to just do that in introduction. It's about blessing of Cadbury. Hmm. Blessing of, you know, now we are going into the world of sport. When I say sport, I say sport. Thank you very much. Make sure you subscribe and make sure that you've clicked on the notification bell so you can be notified when we post new, new, hot, hot gist about doping. When we say doping, crack, that's hard drugs. Blessing of Kagbari banned for 10 years. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That is a, that is an heavy one. Yeah, that's the end of the, of the career, I believe. That's the end of the career. But don't you think these people are let me say, actually taking it too far. I'm not saying what she did was right, but you know this racism of a thing <laughs> to come in so heavy. You can still remember about um, yeah, so, 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 some weeks back that that Manchester United footballer, he just sorry West Ham, yeah, West Ham United, he kicked, he kicked uh, that Zuma, he kicked his cat, bah, just kicked his cat playfully, and then a lot of things. He lost his career, he lost a lot of money. I don't understand. Like this is getting too much. All right, let me take you along. Nigeria's 2008 long jump silver medalist Blessing Okagbari has been banned for 10 years for doping. The Athletics Integrity Unit announced on Friday. The 33-year-old, who is also a sprinter, was expelled from the Tokyo Olymp- Olympics last year before the women's 100-meter semifinals after testing positive for human growth hormone at an out-of-competition test in Slovakia on July 19. Hmm. The disciplinary tribunal has banned Nigerian sprinter Blessing Okagbari for a total of 10 years. A copy of the judgment obtained by some newsmen read in part, for the reason set out the tribunal finds the ADRV as contrary to rules 2.1 and 2.2 ADR approved. It imposes a period of ineligibility of five years concurrently on each of the rule 2.1 and rule 2.2 ADRVAs. Finds that the athlete failed to comply with the demand and cooperate with the AIU investigation in breach of rules 5.7.3 and 5.7.7 ADRV and imposes a consecutive period of ineligibility of, of ineligibility of five years and therefore imposes a total period of ineligibility of 10 years, which commences on 34th July 2021. Hmm. This is this is heavy. The tribunal also orders that the athletes result from and including 20 June 2021 are disqualified with all resulting consequences, including forfeiture of any medals, titles, ranking points, and prize and appearance money. There is no order for cause. Ah, ah. Hey, oh my God. It was earlier reported that Okagbari was facing three charges after testing positive for human growth hormone and EPO, offenses that forced her to pull out of the Tokyo Olympics, the Athletics Integrity Unit said. AIU had revealed that Okagbari tested positive for blood booster EPO in Nigeria in June, in addition to another failed test for human growth hormone in Slovakia in July, which was announced during the Olympics. Okagbari was also charged with failing to cooperate with the investigation after she disobeyed an order to produce documents, records, and electronic storage devices in relation to the other charges. Okagbari, a former Commonwealth Games gold medalist, won her first round each of the women's 100 meters in Tokyo before being forced to withdraw when her test results were announced. Okagbari had earlier denied all the charges. Hmm, he denied all the charges. Okay, oh. hmm. To, to an extent, you know, a lot of investigations were made to an extent that our drug supplier, hmm, the chart with the drug supplier was revealed. And then, uh, okay, well, our drug supplier has been charged to court in the U.S. Yes, that's that's that, that's just a fact. It takes us therapies to supply performance enhancing drugs to Olympic athletes including suspended Nigerian sprinter Blessing Okagbari, has become the first person charged under a new U.S. anti-doping law. U.S. Justice Department officials in New York said Eric Lira, a 41-year-old natural, hey, hey, all these, uh, all these uh, medical, na- natural, naturopathic therapist based in El Paso, don't worry, my, my teeth no go remove, no go remove. Uh, in El Paso, supplied drugs to two athletes for the purpose of corrupting the Tokyo Games. It was earlier reported that the Nigerian top athlete Ogakbari was suspended for doping on Saturday, July 31, 2021. That was at the Tokyo Olympics. Hmm? 
The anti-doping body said Okagbari tested positive for the prohibited substance in in and out of competition test on July 19, four days before the Olympics opened. The case is the first time charges have been brought under the Rodchenkov Act, a law introduced in the United States in 2020 in the wake of Russia's state back doping scandal. The law named after Russian whistleblower Grigory Rod- Rodchenkov enables U.S. authorities to prosecute individuals involved in international doping fraud conspiracies. That is that about that. Or Kagbari, hmm, his, his, his career is already in. Hmm, you get it? If you don't get it, forget about it. The 33-year-old was thrown out of the Olympics last year before the women's 100-meter semifinals after testing positive for... No, not COVID-19. Now, calm down. <laughs> for human growth hormone at an out-of-competition test in Slovakia on July 19. The indictment refers to an athlete testing positive for, for HGH on July 19 in Slovakia before later being suspended from the women's Olympic 100-meter finals. What do you feel? Do you think they took it so far? Well, I'm not supporting what she did. I'm not saying I'm against or I'm in support of all of what she did as usual. But do you think that punishment you know, was justifi- is justifiable or it's, uh, you know, they took it so far, like, ah, too far? Is it because uh, she's she's a black woman? Or uh, What do you feel? Can you just drop your comment in the comment section? Thank you very much. My name is Kate to the I to the end to the G.O. Shamo, the king himself. What to the Zell? Listen, Okagberry, hmm? he has been she has been banned for ten years. I believe that's the end of the career. Well, I'm not sorry to say that. I believe you know ten years. Do you know ten years? What do you mean ten years? Thank you very.